Today's Camtasia question is, I worked hard to split up each frame of a 15 second video clip. My goal is to reverse the video clip at the end of my presentations. Each piece, created by splitting each frame, is small. I want to grab each slice starting at the end, move it to a different track, place each at the beginning and then next to each other. That way the video clip will now be reversed. How can I do this? This is a great question and it's a feature that I've heard for several years that people want to reverse their clips. So let me show you how he's doing it and how we could do it in Camtasia. And then at the end, I'll show you how you could do it outside of Camtasia. To start, we see that we have this video clip. So here's a sample clip. It happens to be 14 seconds long and it's the neon stocks clip where the arrow is going off to the right. And he said he wants to reverse this. So what he said he's doing, and this is a great way to do it, is he'll go zoom in. And the way I would do this is I would have my mouse ready here on the clip itself. And I would move one frame to the left with a comma key and I would press S. And then I would click the clip again and do comma S, click, comma S, click. And I would do that over and over. And you can do this fast. In fact, you can see I'm doing this in real time as I'm talking to you. And you can get through this clip fairly quickly if you just keep repeating this process. Now, I'm not gonna go through the entire clip because you don't need to see that. But what you can see are these several one frame clips that are here. And he says he wants to reverse these. So how are we going to do that? The way I would reverse these is I would go to track two and turn on magnetic tracks. Then I would make sure my playhead is somewhere here off to the left so that it's not out here where there's nothing. I wanna make sure that it, there's something underneath. And then I'll select the first item and I'll hold down the control key and I'll do X to cut and V to paste. Now you don't see it being pasted. It's being pasted on the second track because it can't put it here on the first track. And because magnetic tracks is on, it goes all the way to the beginning. So as I continue to hold down control, I'll now click on this and I'll do X, V, X, V. Again, control, X, control, V. Here, X, V, here, X, V, here, X, V, here, X, V. And I just do this over and over. And again, this would take some time to do an entire 15 second clip, but you can see that I'm able to do several clips here in just a few seconds. All right, now let's look at the beginning. So here at the beginning, we have all those clips. They went to the beginning of this track. And now if I go one frame to the right, it should go backward. And I go one frame to the right, it looks like it's going backward again. And it looks like things are moving in the opposite direction as I go one frame at a time to the right. Now, if this is something I would want to put at the end of every one of my videos, I would select the entire thing and I would right click and add it to my library. And I might call it outro reverse. And now whenever I want that, I can just grab outro reverse, drag it down to the timeline, and it has all of those items grouped together. And as I play through, it plays in the opposite direction. The way I would do this outside of Camtasia is Adobe has a reverse video option. And I'll put a link to that in the description below. What you'll do is you'll upload the video and then when it's done, when you go to download it, they'll say, hey, we need your email address in order to send this to you. So it does have a slight cost. It's really free, but you have to give up an email address. But that might be worth it instead of having to go in and split each frame one by one and then cut and paste on a different track. So another great viewer question. If you have a question on Camtasia that you'd like to have answered, leave a comment below and let me know what that is.